Hey, it's Kevin Tof with Gigaohm. Today I've got the Excite 7.7 inch tablet from Toshiba. This is a review unit that I just got the other day, so I only have some first impressions right now. We'll take it out of the box and show it to you. We don't see too many 7.7 inch tablets. The last one I saw was actually the one I bought. Um, this is my Samsung Galaxy Tab Wi-Fi edition that I had imported, and I absolutely love it. Uh, this is very comparable. Let's take it out of the box. So you can see it's got the same same form factor. It actually looks like the same thing until I turn it on. It uses AMOLED screen technology, 1280 by 800 resolution, same as the tab. And this runs on NVIDIA's Tegra 3 processor. So that is a, a quad-core processor with uh, 12 GPU cores. So I've already used it to play uh, Shadowgun, which is optimized for the Tegra chip. Comes in handy with the optimization. Um, I like having the small form factor and, and playing games. It's been great for, for doing that. So uh, let's go back to the actual device itself and what else is in the box. Uh, they give you a, a power brick like that and it has a USB dock there. And then there's this funky USB to um, multi-pin port. This is what you use to charge the device, and I'm not a fan of this type of proprietary method, but it is what it is. That's what Toshiba has decided. You'll see where that fits on the device in a second. Let me give you a quick tour of the hardware here. Um, again, on the front of the screen, or the display, we just have the screen itself, and then we have a 2 megapixel front-facing camera right here. I'm not a fan of the cameras over in the corners because you're kind of offset when you're holding the device either this way or this way. Um, if I were talking right now on video, my head would be down at the bottom left, and that's just not ideal. So, um, Nothing else on the front. You've got on the left-hand side, you've got a power button. You've got a nice little slider here that locks the, auto, uh, the accelerometer. So if I want to keep this in, say, portrait mode or landscape mode. Here, let's get out of shadow run for a second. Shadow gun, I should say. If I want to keep this in portrait mode, I just flip that switch. And now I'm still in portrait mode. That's handy for reading ebooks and such, uh, doing other tasks that you might want in portrait mode. So then we've got a little volume rocker here as well, and just a little speaker port there. So that's the entire left hand side. On the top, there's nothing. On the right hand side, you'll see there are two stereo speakers, um, great for when you're in landscape. The, the device has SRS sound as well. And here's that port where you plug in the proprietary charger to actually charge the battery in this device. Um, again, not a fan of that. Kind of thought, like, on the bottom I could use that micro USB port, and I did that and the device wasn't charging. Well, I had to open up the box fully to find this, so that would be why it wasn't charging. Um, also on the bottom we have a micro SD card slot, as well as a headphone microphone port. Uh, micro SD you can expand the memory with that. Again, this is a 16 gigabyte model. I believe it's also available in a 32 gigabyte model. The back side has like a textured aluminum. It's got the Toshiba logo. And then, which is here, the top right corner of the device, it has a five megapixel camera with LED flash. Um, the aperture or opening to allow light in does not seem very high on this. The photos I've taken have been marginal at best. So it's something to just point out as a quick first impression. The device itself, using it, um, it's got Ice Cream Sandwich Android 4.0.3, if I'm not mistaken. Let me just double check that so I don't give you bad information. And settings. It's definitely Ice Cream Sandwich, I can tell you that. About the tablet. 4.0.3, that is correct. And Toshiba really hasn't done all that much to customize it, so there's no funky skin or anything here. This is pretty much stock Android 4.0, multiple home screens. What they have done is they've grouped some things such as productivity, entertainment, and so on. They've done that for you. That's just putting the shortcuts into folders, something you can do yourself, but it's a nice little touch. I like how it's a clean interface. Um, Again, just for browsing and such, it's been great. The Tegra 3, we've already seen that in the ASUS Transformer Prime. You know, it does it works really well, especially with Android 4.0. So I, I definitely like that. One thing though, and this is going to be the killer, we'll see how it is in the review. The price on this is $499, and that's going to be a tough sell, I think, for Toshiba, even if this is the greatest 7.7-inch tablet I've ever used, and we'll know in a couple of days. Um, mainly because at that price point, you're competing with much larger devices with more capabilities. Um, the iPad, for example, starts at $499 and also has 16 gigabytes of memory. 
Uh, you've got Toshiba's own uh, tablets that come out around that price point, the larger Thrive, uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab, Asus Transformer Prime with the same processor as a 10.1 inch tablet has a docking option that's $399 to $499 depending on what you're going to buy. So I think that right there is going to be a, a tough selling point for Toshiba. I will say it's, it's nicely made, um, it's been running well so far. And I like it overall, I just don't know if I like it enough to say it's worth $4.99. Obviously, it's too soon to tell. I'll have to do a full review and check it out. But in the meantime, I hope you enjoyed this walkthrough of the Shiba Excite 7.7. .7.